Right, so remember love, politics with no insight, okay. material about dildos, which if it doesn't work you just say, oh, too dark for you is it? And if all else fails... Russian nanny. You've got it. Good luck love, see you next week. Hello Richard, come straight in. So, Stuart Goldsmith sent you to me, Davy Davis, 17 years unknown in the comedy industry, because he thinks you could benefit from the wisdom of my expert experience. Mm. So, why don't you show me how you'd ordinarily begin one of your acts? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Richard Sandling. Um, hello, hello, uh, my name's Richard, uh, I run a video shop in South End on Sea, where I'm from. My video shop's called Ace Video, which I'm sure you're all aware is a reference to the 1987 film Tapehead, starring John Keaton. No, 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 let me, let me, let me stop you there. The problem with this is, I can see immediately, is it's bollocks, right? What you've got to do is walk out on stage and immediately get the biggest possible, cheapest laugh you can, ideally by referring to someone who you look a bit like in the public eye. For example, I'll often walk on and begin a gig by going, uh, all right there, ladies and gentlemen, I know what you're thinking, it's the third Milliband brother. <laughs> hey! You, you don't look anything like the Milliband. That literally doesn't matter. So, uh, off the top of your head, let's think of one for you. How about um, uh, Dave Lee Travis on Helium? Giant haystacks. A hairy Dawn French. Uh, Hagrid. Perfect. Brian Blessed. Now, you're probably a little bit worried about hecklers, aren't you? Oh, no, no, not really. Oh, you should be, Richard. You should be. A well-timed heckle can destroy your confidence. What are you going to do if you walk on stage, some in the front row shouts, Oi, get off the stage, you fat Well, I, I just ignore him, or I would engage him in a dialogue to find out why he's so unhappy with no, him. No, 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 Richard, you're overthinking this whole thing. What you do is, as soon as he heckles you, you call him a puff. It's the comedy way. He pulls a knife, you pull a gun. That's just how it works. The second that gentleman opens his mouth, boom, he's a homosexual. Well, what if he's a woman? Well, then she's a slag, or a slapper, or a lesbian. Well, that just seems a bit homophobic and lazy. There's nothing lazy about stereotypes, Richard. Well, I, I, I just want to talk about things I find interesting to a room full of people that want to hear what I have to say. Oh, you make me sit, you bloody whimsical comedians, honestly. Sat up there in your ivory tower making whimsical jokes on MySpace about knitting and math and robbing bloody ints, whoever she is, you wouldn't last two minutes in the Barnstable comedy pit, would you? Would you? No, you wouldn't. I'd like to see you in going three rounds against Billy the <laughs> in the Stevenage Chuckle Buffet. He'd eat you alive. He's Bedfordshire's most terrifying heckler. Yeah, you make me sick. So come on then, what are your topics? Well, Why don't you tell me what you talk about in your act? Uh, well, I talk about videos. Right, and? Star Trek. And? Star Trek videos. Ah, well I can see the problem immediately here, Rich. It's no topics of bollocks. If you want to make people laugh, the simplest way to do it is to tell everyone something they already know. Right? Here are the four key topics in contemporary British comedy. Men and women are a bit different. These days, white kids talk like they're black. People who shop at Lidl are pikey, and you can't take water on planes. Hey, hey! Boom! Now, come on, Richard, you have a go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, strap in, brace yourselves, it's Mr. Richard Sandling! Hello! I know what you're thinking. I'm fat! You're gay! You're a slag! Who remembers MacGyver? Gordon's alive! And I think we're there.